internet, I'm Lauren and this is Brain Stuff. We get headaches for a lot of reasons. Sometimes foods like chocolate, cheese, or cured meat can cause them. Other times it's stress or changes in our sleep habits. Headaches are also caused by eye strain, sinus problems, coughing, and even sex. Worst case scenario, they're a sign of neurological problems. But do you know what causes headaches in over a third of the population? Diabolical evil ice cream. Uh, the ice cream headache, otherwise known as brain freeze or a cold stimulus headache in more lofty circles, only requires two things. First, something cold touching the roof of your mouth, and second, a hot environment, uh, like a summer day or a sauna or the inside of a volcano or a yoga class full of sweaty people, which is where we all usually eat ice cream, right? Brain freeze is caused by both a constriction and dilation of the blood vessels in your head. There's a nerve center just above your mouth. When it gets cold, it signals the anterior cerebral artery to widen, trying to heat your brain up with warm blood. Since the skull is a closed structure, though, this sudden rush of blood could increase pressure. At least that's what some doctors think. If that's accurate, that pressure would cause the kind of pain that we feel. It's a kind of horrible, stabbing, aching feeling. But the warm air around you signals those blood vessels to restrict again, relieving the pain after 10 to 20 seconds. This experience is reportedly similar to a migraine headache, albeit a very short one. It's possible that the influx of blood is supposed to protect your brain from extreme cold. The pain is usually mid-frontal in the brain area, but it can also be unilateral in other parts of the brain. But don't worry, experts say that ice cream is not going to give you brain damage or anything like that. In fact, when they're correcting aneurysms, doctors sometimes lower your brain temperature all the way down to like 64 degrees Fahrenheit, aka 17.8 degrees Celsius, so ice cream ain't no thing. Except there's only one certain cure for brain freeze. Never eat ice cream again. Just kidding. Uh, in one article about these headaches, a researcher actually said, ice cream abstinence is not indicated. That is a direct science quote. So keep eating all the ice cream you want. Science dictates it. Uh, but slow it down a bit, try to eat in small bites, and avoid the roof of your mouth. Also, you might be more likely to get brain freeze if you already get migraines. The science isn't really confirmed on this yet, but since the vascular response in ice cream headaches is similar to the experience of having a migraine, this population may be more vulnerable. Researchers are investigating this connection now in hopes of developing better painkillers, so yay for that. Do you have any tips on how to avoid brain freeze? I once heard that curling your tongue back to touch the roof of your mouth can cure it. Sound plausible? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you have enjoyed this video, please like it or subscribe so that you won't miss the next one because me and or one of my charming co-hosts will talk to you again really soon.